Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAMS Capital Markets Desk. This is August 30th. It's our end of month uh, muni market recap. Uh, it's been a big month in uh, new issue volume sales, Brian. Bloomberg's Daniel Moran reported this week that more than $37 billion in new issue municipal bonds were sold in August. I think that number uh, grew even from that num uh, level. That's the largest single month since 2017. So uh, why don't you tell us what was going on in the market? Yeah, uh, we definitely saw a very big month. Uh, you know, we can talk ad nauseum about which particular uh, tweets or economic indicators or tariffs or any happenings uh, moved the market uh, on any particular day. But overall, you know, in terms of just overall rates, we're up, call it plus or minus 50 basis points on the 10 year and 30 year Treasury. You know, we hit through a 150 on the 10 year this week. Munis have underperformed that rally, um, but not by a lot. Uh, you know, we're at least up uh, around 30 basis points or so in 10 year MMD and uh, about 40 basis points on 30 year MMD. So we're cheaper by about six to seven ratios. About half of that has uh, underperformance has come this week. Um, so as guys have gotten a little bit kind of fatigued with rates and spreads, tax exempts have, um, you know, they continue to be super strong, but just uh, not keeping up with, uh, with the treasury rally overall. But with all of that going on, like you said, the, the new issue supply was really strong, over 38 billion uh, price this, this month. Uh, that's about a 17% increase versus August of 2018. It's more than 15% higher than the average August in the last five to six years. Uh, so for what's usually a pretty quiet month at the end of the summer, uh, we've really seen a lot of activity. Uh, specifically, one area that's been particularly active is uh, taxable munis and mm -hmm. muni-backed corporates. Uh, we're about uh, almost 10 billion issued this month, which is uh, which is a really big number. It's, it's more than 30% of the total volume in that sector for the year. Um, so that space has been very active. There's been some bigger healthcare deals, airport deals, things like that, that have kind of moved the needle there. Um, but you know, we're, we're definitely starting to see um, a little bit of rate and spread fatigue in that, in that sector. Um, BAM actually uh, insured a large taxable deal for Leavenworth uh, School District in Kansas this week that Raymond James priced. Uh, and that was a taxable advance for funding. A couple of years ago, that probably would have come as a tax exempt deal. Tax law changed at the end of 2017 so now that transaction has yep. to be untaxable. Um, away from that, you know, BAM continued to have a, a really big, uh, a really big month. Uh, uh, one of our most active Augusts for sure. It's actually the most active August. We checked it. Uh, 1.3 billion uh, dollars and counting of uh, transactions were priced. 30 transactions and 380 million of that was just in the last week. Mm -hmm. So the follow through through the whole month was really uh, remarkable. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we did a, more than uh, 11 deals of 30 million or more. Six of those were 50 million or, or greater um, you know it, it really it's been a, a fantastic month considering where rates and spreads have gone uh, it's really great to see insurance adding value at, at these levels and it's all types of issuers you, you mentioned the larger issuers as well as all the way down to three and a half million dollars for the town of York New York uh, water and sewer upgrade that was our first BAM Green Star transaction in the state of New York so we're now up in uh, 11 states for BAM Green Star green bonds um, looking ahead to September it's only a four-day week after the holiday next week that doesn't seem to have an impact on volume. Uh, what are you seeing? Uh, yeah, you know, we'll, there will be no real holiday break. Uh, the new issue calendar is going to be about seven and a half billion or so. It's pretty concentrated. Uh, about half of that is going to be accounted for in a large uh, two and a quarter billion deal for CalGEO. There's a large mass geo deal coming to market. Uh, Chicago Board of Ed will be uh, will be pricing next week as well. But uh, it's it's going to be an active week for a holiday week for sure. Uh, most of that activity will take place probably Wednesday, Thursday, uh, both on the negotiated and competitive side. As far as BAM's activity, we've got a couple of nice large deals in the pipeline. Um, uh, we've got over a hundred million or so scheduled to price. Great. And a couple of those, the Greater Wachita Water Company in Louisiana, Cruise and Associates is going to be pricing. Alexis Plattis from BAM's uh, East Coast Public Finance Group has another BAM Credit Insights video, and you can uh, click the link above here to see that video elsewhere on our YouTube uh, page. And we also have uh, about $37 million for the Tahoe Truckee Union School District, Unified School District in Northern California. Mm -hmm. uh, Wells Fargo is going to be pricing that one uh, coming up uh, next week as well. Um, as we wrap up, our thoughts go out to every in the path of Hurricane Dorian this weekend. Uh, BAM Surveillance Department will be watching all the developments on that storm as well, and we'll have an update on how it impacted municipal credits across Florida. Be safe, everyone, and have a good weekend.